Hey guys, it's Phantom KV with the latest ever comic haul from Canberra. Yes, Canberra. I've been there for the last couple of days. I've been there on Friday and the Thursday. Yeah. So, comments I got. I got a Phantom One assassination of President Lincoln was made in 1999, thought it was a cool comic, because it's got President Lincoln on it, and I like him, I like him because he's history, and yeah, let's have a look through it, it was back when Jim Shefford was still in charge of the, of the, of the Phantom, 100 page special, Battle Killer, LB, Monkey Man, Jungle King, City. And yeah, I thought it was a good comic, so I got it. Coming in at number two in the comic hall is Batman Curse of the White Knight, book five. I'm actually thinking of buying book four, book three, book two, and book one. I'm thinking because I've seen that, especially this cover, I've seen people post, people, people post um, these comics and they look alright, I reckon. They look alright. I haven't actually had a look through this one. So, it, to me it looks alright for a DC comic. So, we've got Donny Cates. It's coming in at number three. Donny Cates author Nick Kane and Matt Wilson art. And it's, I love this book. I actually absolutely love this book. It's number Thor one, number one from Marvel. And I'm thinking, because Thor two comes out in a couple of days, I'm thinking I might get something off online from. Impact Comics, which that's the shop I went to, which I got the little card, and that they were pretty damn, they were pretty damn. Good. Service was good. Um, the lady that was there showed me a lot of stuff. She was pretty. She knew her knowledge. She knew a lot of stuff. So thank you, Impact Comics, for letting me buy sp nearly spend an hour there. And I only got, I only saw these a couple of days ago. We have promotional cards of this comic, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll, I'll love the art, I, it's just damn awesome. The story is pretty damn good, I reckon. It's got Black Surfer in it, which uh, I don't know which one came out of that, but um, it's got Galactus in it and all that sort of stuff. So coming in at number four is another Phantom comic that I got. I got two of these. One is the first one and one is this one. Phantom vs. Sing Brotherhood 2050. It was made in 2000, uh, covered by Glenn Ford. And I just thought this was pretty cool. A cool cover, pretty cool book. And that's probably why I got it. And it's, well, it did say Sing Brotherhood 2050. And I haven't actually had a look through this book yet. But to me, it looks very, very good. Coming in at number five is a dollar, they say dollar comics. I might, I'm, I've already read it and I've got this chapter of Hush in a trade paperback special. So if anyone wants to buy this comic, hit me up on Instagram or go down in the comics below and we'll probably sort something out because I've already got this comic in Hush, a uh, Hush 
trade paperback. So if you want this comic and it's chapter 6 of Hush, the comic that was released in, I think, 2003, I think, and it's chapter 6. So if you want it, comment down below. And I'll show you a couple of pages. It's got Harley Quinn in it. It's got Batman in it. It's got... And it's got some promotional things. That's the comic we're look, talking about. If you want this chapter 6 of Batman Hush graphic novel comic. Um, and it's also got Thomas Elliot and Joker in it. Which Thomas Elliot gets killed in this chapter. So if you want it, comment down below. Now... What I've heard from this people, including Comic Tom, which is another YouTube channel, um, this cover I think is very pricey or very, very good. Um, it's like a one of like one of those comics that is real hype in, hype in value of some sort. And I actually read this story. It was. Not as good as Thor number one, but it's still a good story. So I'm thinking I may get number two that came out last week on Wednesday. And that that comic, that, that looked, that's horror-filled goodness right there. I don't really like my horror films, but yeah. And uh, Stan's Soapbox, April 1972. Stan Lee, which died a couple of years ago, actually has a book out. Daily Bugle. Stan Lee, from a couple of years ago, I'm guessing, has an actual book out, which is, like, pretty damn cool. And, yeah, where is it? Oh, it was, it was somewhere here before, but he actually has a book out at the moment, but he's, he is probably R.I.P., rest in peace, but he still has a book out. So, yeah, comment down below if you um, want me to try and feature these phantom books in some sort of video um i'm thinking of doing like a gym publication video so if you don't want that comment down below uh subscribe for more phantom cave videos and more phantom cave content um like share comment down below if you love this video or if you just like phantom comics and what i'm trying to get into dc and marvel comics in general and happy australia day for yesterday i actually released my first ever australia day video so 2020 go look at that now it's been up for nearly a day or so and so look at that um and yeah, see you and have a good public holiday for the Australia Day, which was actually yesterday, but we get a public holiday on Monday to this year. So have a good Australia Day. Um, yeah. Uh, and keep on Phantom Caving.